Hello Cancer, welcome to the channel guys, it's Sarad and uh, in this video we're gonna do your weekly reading for 18th of July up until 24th of July 2022 and uh, if you find yourself interested into having a personal reading with me you can always go to my website uh, which link you're gonna find in the description down uh, below. So with that said, let's just do the cut and uh, see what kind of a cards you have. So the first card for you, Gemini, uh, not Gemini, Cancer, I'm sorry. So the first card for you, Cancer, that is going to be uh, the Queen of Swords. Followed by uh, the very second card here of uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Moving on next uh, for the third card, uh, we do have the Two of Swords. And the final card of your spread, uh, that is going to be the Nine of Wands. So we do have a, these four cards uh, for your reading here. Wow, Cancer, uh, if you are wondering, are you doing the right thing with your life, whether into your career or uh, whether into your love life, are you seeking uh, the love into your life the right way that you are supposed to, so you can end up with... Uh, the most compatible person want to know more because even if you aren't by this week, Ju July 18th up until July 24th, you are about to adopt the right way and we can see that very clearly into the Queen of Swords because in your case here, uh, the, win the Queen of Swords stands for the emancipation you are going to have with the surrounding environment, okay? And that emancipation is going to basically help you to push your things through not just only gonna help you 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 are gonna it's gonna make you push your things through and the beauty of it, it is that you are not gonna even notice it it's gonna be a walk in the park it's gonna be a piece of cake for you and uh you you ain't gonna notice it uh, just because we do have the two of swords here into the third position and uh two of swords it has a, a very I love the property of this card. It is because it allows you to, well, not exactly to you, but it allows to oneself to wait for the right answer just to become obvious. So if you are wondering, for example, whom you should proceed with from the people that you are dating, if you are wondering which job you should take, what you should do for a livelihood, okay, uh, or what kind of a hobby uh, is going to make your soul fulfilled, well, that pre pretty much this is go going to become obvious within this particular week, July 18th up until July 24th, 2022nd, and that comes from the emancipation and the ability for you to whatever is e it is in chaos around you, to be now in a very precious equilibrium that nothing can disrupt it but you. I don't think that you would wish to disrupt the equilibrium itself until you have the 100% certainty that what you are going to go for, it's going to work out and it's going to happen. And believe me, it's going to work out and it's going to happen. And I gave uh, the examples here with a personal relationships because this is exactly the extent the incentive we do have nine of ones I mean just look at the card here okay just look at it you do have the bridge in between the sun and the moon the bridge in between the the the, the male and the female beginning okay which in uh, the, mid the, the medieval ages or in the culture of tarot it represents the bondage of uh, or rather like the bridge in between two people okay and uh, thus even if you don't have anybody to date with very big incentive throughout this week to find someone to date with or if you do have someone that you like but you don't have an ability to date with right now suffice to say you will be able to push through so that bridge can be uh, pretty much established due to the emancipation you do have. For not native speaking English, emancipation it is when you are one with, right? You are one with the environment. You are one with what is going on around you. You are in a complete synchrony with what comes next. 
and uh, basically the week goes in a way that's um, whatever you see plausible really can work out for you and really can happen for you but but this emancipation of yours also carries on even a uh, even a bigger results than just having someone to date with or having someone to 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 get closer to you right or having someone to just spend time with or spend your life with this emancipation as well allows you to to make a very important conscious changes changes into your schedule changes into your routine changes in a way how you perform at your work uh, how you perform into your social circle so you can basically work smart rather than work hard with way less actions with way less involvement with way less effort to accomplish way greater results into your career or into your uh, social circle now you may ask then well is there even a problem within the week then is there something that uh, it's not going to be pleasant unfortunately yes uh, ace of pentacles you can see that over here and um, ace of pentacles is when at least in your case there will be some kind of a, a, a disharmony into the sense of content and the sense of that what you are pushing through, it, it, it's really what you want to push through, okay? Or in other words, you're going to find it very difficult to believe at least for, throughout the week that this this pushing this breakthrough you are to establish is really what you want that that is your opportunity to further your goal in other words you are going to find it very difficult to believe that the project you are pushing through into your career is the project that is going to grant you the uh the promotion you are hoping for or you may find it very difficult to believe that the person you start dating throughout the week will be the person you can establish family with okay or you may find it very difficult to believe that the friend you have uh, you have established uh, or the friendship you have established is the friendship that you need at that point that is just a belief right that that isn't um a tan tangible in regards to the uh, to the physical uh, to the physical environment and even if the the property or rather like the essence at the start of uh, of the endeavor itself the project the the relationship the friendship is not exactly what will make you believe with that nine of wands at the end you have the luxury so like, I, so like I said, reshape it and rechange it. So it becomes exactly what you want to believe in or what you now can find tangible uh, literally to believe in. Now with the nine of wands as well, uh, suffice to say that these situations which are going to arise at the end, they're going to be something very familiar to you. You're going to have a full experience into them. So it's highly unlikely that you are to be beguiled into something that, you know, you're going to find afterwards lied, betrayed, uh, and how can I put it into words, a um, deprived of, of, uh, of something. So here, I could say that whatever choice you are to make throughout the week it's going to be the most right choice you have made in a quite a while and so with that said guys uh, this was your weekly title reading for July 18th up until July 24th 2022nd uh, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time until then bye